Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome to The Sandman, the sequel to that other game we played a little while ago, The Crooked Man, which, which despite having seen a fair few YouTubers back long time ago, closer to the golden age of YouTube and all that, having played The Crooked Man, I've never, I've not actually seen anyone play any of the sequels. I think Manly Badass Hero might have, but I haven't watched it, if he has. But unlike, say, Markiplier, who I'm fairly certain has not actually played any of the sequels, I will. And for one very important reason, the, the ultimately deciding reason for why I started playing this series in the first place, and why I shall be finishing it, eventually. And that reason is... Of course... <clears throat> Mr. Sandman, man me a sand, make him the cutest man card or hook hand, give him two sands like sands is and hands is, then tell him that his sands and man's are hands is. Sand man, sand so a man, don't have no senses to sand a man. Please turn on your sandy hands, Mr. Sandman, send me a man. Mr. Sandman, man me a sand, make him the cutest man card or hook hand. Give him the sand that I'm not a hander. Then tell him that his sins and man's are hander. Sandman, sand so a man. Don't have no senses to sand a man. Please turn on your sandy hands. Mr. Sandman, send me a man. M Mr. Sandman, sand. Man us the sand, give him two hook doors, cute man, hand sand band in green, give him a sandy door, like sand liachi, and lots of sandy hands like man borghini. Mr. Sandman, hook door to sand, would be so sandy before we're to hand. So please turn on your sandy hands, Mr. Sandman, send us man car door, Mr. Sandman, send us a man. <sighs> yep, that was it. That was, more or less, the entire reason I decided on playing this entire series. <laughs> because I thought it would be a mildly amusing gag to recite off that whole abomination of a song from memory. And yes, I have listened to that song far too much at the start of this game. That's it. That's the joke. <laughs> well, that was the worst thing I've ever done. <sighs> and remember, the bad singing will continue until my demands are met. Alright, for the 1% of you that haven't clicked off of this video already, let's start playing The Sandman, whatever it's gonna be about. Ha! <laughs> let's see, this is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So, so refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. The fuck you trying to imply, game? <laughs> 
please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. No. If these rules conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No, rep no repurposing resources, except author's illustrations. No redistribution of game files, except for translations. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. Screw you, game. I'm going to cut the credits. I'm going to cut them into a bunch of pieces and then put them back in a random order because you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> check the other side for more information. Yada, yada, yada. Let me just double check to make sure this is working properly. Yeah. What? Okay, something's up with the video. It's still show. I think it's still showing the main menu. What the fuck? Okay, let me... Work, damn you, work! Mush! God. Well, at least it's just the video messing up. I'd hate to have lost all of that incredible audio. Um. Still. <laughs> I think this is OBS trying to get revenge on me for making it record all that. Oh well. Okay. Think it's working. Let me just. Why are there so many poly MC edit entities? Okay, well, it kind of works. Okay. Shh. What? Quiet, dear. Not another word. What? There's nothing to worry about. Well, I wasn't worried before. It's only a monster moaning in the closet. Thank you, that's very comforting. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> hmm. You're still not sleepy, are you? Oh well, yeah, it's only like... 3.30 at the moment. Then I'll tell you a scary story. I'll leave it up for you guys to decide whether I was talking about AM or PM. The oh-so-terrifying story of the Sandman. I wasn't aware that was a scary story. I mean, I guess a guy creeping in your bedroom at night and putting sand in your eyes, even if it's for the purpose of giving you pleasant dreams and all that, is a bit disturbing. And there was also uh, that story from the 1800s, Der Sandman, which was something about making people, making kids' eyes fall out if they didn't fall asleep. Here's a fun fact that you might not know. According to the legend, the Sandman had a sister named Amasi or something like that. A-M-A-Y-S-I, I think it was spelled. Something like that. Who could control water. Um, I don't really know much more about her. You, which, and you probably, which is probably why you almost certainly didn't know anything about her because she rarely shows up in the legends. Anyway. I always thought it was kind of funny, people telling stories about terrible things happening to kids that won't go to sleep. Because scaring them is certainly going to help them go to sleep. Anyway. Sophie, huh? Is she going to have to make a choice at some point? Morning already. I'm, I'm assuming this is female. I mean, it could just be an oddly named guy. Oh, I'm in control, okay. <laughs> I wasn't quite certain. I'd never make it to school in time if I did fall asleep now. Eh, ah, screw school. School is overrated. Can contains a few pieces of trash. Your favorite teddy bear. Just washed, so he's nice and fluffy. What the fuck is that? 
Oh, it's a school outfit, okay. It looked vaguely skull-like. Looked vaguely evil. Honestly, it still kind of does. The death clock ticks on. I call it a watch, because it watches your life go by. That is a teen pop star. Going with a picture of mom. Let me guess. She died horribly. So. But yeah. I mean, people. People talk about the importance of going of going to school and all that, but really the school system as it stands right now is rotten to the core. And I'm not just talking about in America. A lot of places have te truly atrocious school systems. Anyway. Genu genuinely, you'd probably be better off homeschooling them as long as you're willing to put in effort into it. There are some advantages to going to school, but they're vastly dwarfed by the advantages of just having one-on-one -on -one education that is actually designed to help them learn how to learn rather than the malarkey that the school system is designed in my, uh, with in mind. Honestly, a lot of the shit that schools teach you is actively detrimental to your ability to learn. But that's what happens when you expect the government to parent your kids. They'll fuck it up like they do everything. They're still bread in the toaster. Anyway, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. <laughs> you dingus. A pot with a burnt bottom on the stove. I sure hope you didn't leave this cooking something last uh, yesterday. That would be troublesome. A note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I've left you money to take care of yourself with. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Sister Mary, huh? Hmm. Anytime people start associating positions in a, fa in a faculty or other sort of system with with terms relating to families like sister or or brother or father or anything like that it's always a bad sign that's one of the oldest tricks in the book when it comes to manipulative labels oh yeah and also absentee parents yeah that sucks too Phone. A rather old picture taken on a vacation. No ability to sprint. The shoe shelf has sneakers and pumps. What a weird name. Pumps. Shoe shelf. Dad's leather boots are here. Steal them. And wear them to... Meh. Oh, that was the front door. Ah, goddammit. I wanted to check the other doors first. Oh well. I'm sure there's nothing like hugely important in them that could al radically alter the way the game turns out. All girls. Is this a girl school then? Hey Sophie, you got a painter at your house? Five dots. Unusual. Because man, that hair. How do you get that red without a paint spill being involved? Hey fuck you! Now hold on, Regan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor and mistook the ketchup for shampoo. There's literally a girl with pink hair like a few steps behind me. And you're bullying me? You need to get your priorities straight. Yeah, that's gotta be it. 
Me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, yak it up. Not one of you has had an original thought in your life. Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Let me guess. They're gonna... Yep. Ah! How very, very droll. Let me guess. They're gonna... Yak it up in a minute, aren't they? What are you doing, klutz? Hurry up! You're so slow, seriously! <laughs> there it is. Salt, you people have never seen anything even remotely funny in your life if this is what you find funny. <sighs> How utterly banal. Sophie! Um, about Regan. Try not to let it get to you. Thanks, Anne. That's very helpful advice. They're, they're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases you so much. <laughs> First of all, Anne, the word you were looking for there was bullies. And second of all, why does anyone ever bully anyone? Generally, because a victim is seen as an easy target for one reason or another, because bullies... People like to say that bullies are cowards. It's more accurate to say bullies are lazy. But yeah, honestly... Bullies, generally speaking, are just lazy people who want to get that rush of dopamine via the path of least resistance. And if they have something that gives them power over other people, whether that's being stronger than them, or having more numbers, or just being more confident, they'll exert that in very, very petty ways that cost them basically nothing to get that rush of dopamine. And they'll just keep doing that until they get... until either it loses its allure, or... Or until the environment changes and they have to adapt. <sighs> or some of them, I suppose, just choose to change on a whim. That can happen. I've seen people change and become much better people purely on a whim. But never mind that. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. <laughs> Maybe. That's the thing about being lazy, is it doesn't actually make your life easier. Quite the opposite, really. Often, the difference between a lazy person and an efficient one is merely a little bit of foresight. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? Okay. You gonna actually do anything? Or are you just gonna be moral support? Probably just moral support. How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. <laughs> One could say that that's another type of lazy person. The person who gets their moral kicks from saying that they're on the side of the bullied, but never actually doing anything. Sure, it's probably motivated by fear, but laziness is often motivated by fear, or some such. In fact, maybe even usually. Well, we're friends. I... I... don't really have any friends but you. Well, you know what they say. Sucks to be you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. Another tick of the clock. Come in. Come in and know me better, man. Welcome, Miss Grundler. 
Please, take a seat. Excuse you? Yes, Sister Mary. <laughs> That's what you people call sitting, is it? Miss Grundler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You're not going to accuse me of cheating, are you? You've always been a calm, model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell the principal as well. Oh, okay. Glad to hear it. So, does that mean you're going to do something about the bullies? Because that'd be a nice reward for being a model student. I mean, I've heard stories about people being able to falsely accuse people of terrible things at school because they were, like, well-respected by the faculty. Do you think I could get a bit of that corruption? Since, especially since I am actually being bullied? That'd be nice. No, of course not. Uh, those, those sorts of corrupt systems can never be allowed to benefit the protagonist. Well, unless the protagonist is a villain protagonist. Eh, even then, maybe not. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did, did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Ha! You better be careful or the Sandman will take your eyes. Because that's a thought that'll definitely lull you to sleep. Why would, why would the Sandman... That story really doesn't make much sense, does it? Surely it'd be easier to steal people's eyes while they're asleep. Oh, yeah. So I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. Well, that's one of the symptoms of sleep deprivation. I should know. I haven't had a good night's sleep since 1991. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up until morning. Yeah, um, have you tried not going to bed at all? That's usually what I do, because in my experience, laying in bed trying to sleep is actually going to make it harder to sleep. I usually wind up feeling less sleepy the longer I'm laying in bed. So I just stay up reading random shit or whatever until I'm so tired that I fall asleep almost as soon as I go to bed. And that more or less works. How long have you been sleepless in Seattle? As of last night? Maybe about ten days. Sorry, I can't really remember that either. Ten days. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, I guess you're getting some degree of rest from just laying in bed all night. But still, that's well beyond the point where that, where that could have serious health repercussions. Not to mention hallucinations and shit. Even just being awake for a few days in a row can c potentially cause you to, have, to not really be able to trust your own senses. Oh my, have you gone to the hospital? Yeah, that's a good idea. No, my dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. Yes, but you could literally die at any moment from that level of sleep deprivation. In fact... She should just be, like, calling 911 right this fucking instant. I think not calling an ambulance for her right fucking now, or at least, or at least driving her to the hospital herself, is probably reckless endangerment. I see. <laughs> is that it? I see. That's... <laughs> 
I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please, don't worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Don't worry about... Don't worry about it, you just confessed to being... 10 days of sleep deprivation. People have died from less. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I think we're past the point of home remedies here, mate. Why are these people being so casual about this? Do they not know that you... Serious health concerns like hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, straight up fucking psychosis and shit. That stuff happens after like... Three or four days of being without sleep, and you've been without it for ten. At least. Because again, we can't trust your judgment because you're sleep deprived. So for all we know, it's been twice that. <laughs> now, of course, the idea of actually dying from sleep deprivation itself is unproven for obvious reasons, but that doesn't mean your life is not in danger. This shit can wreck your brain. She should not be allowed out of here unassisted. She should not be allowed anywhere unassisted. How are you people not freaking the fuck out right now? <sighs> But sure, prayer is going to work. Assuming she survives long enough to pray. Uh, I see. Excuse me. I have to go fight off some spiders in my hair. Boy, this game has been eerily silent thus far. I really hope it doesn't turn out that this was actually supposed to have a whole bunch of music, but I somehow wound up muting it. Why is light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul? To those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than for hidden treasures, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave. Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? Because God's a sick fuck who likes to watch people suffer. For sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, but only turmoil. Ha. Cute game, cute. Ah uh, yes, good old Job. A great read for if you want to see the true depths of depravity. Perhaps the best shining example of utterly inverted morality that will be defended vigorously by people. Fucking degenerates. Job was a man honest and adoring justice. But as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? In his case, it ensured that it would befall him. Because that was exactly why God decided to throw everything but the kitchen sink at him. Just to prove a point? Even though he's omniscient, so why would he need to? But never mind. Through calamity, he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Not everything can go swimmingly? Is that what you took from that story? How very banal. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship. Just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering, 
That is what gives us greater merit. <laughs> now that's a lot of cope if I've ever heard it. So ends my sermon. Now let us pray. I should shower and get to bed. <laughs> should you? Sophie Grundler. What an odd name. Grundler. Solomon Grundler. Born on a mandler. Alright. That looks vaguely like a hospital bed, but alright. Photo of mom. Another one. So the computer is in sleep mode. Lots of books you don't really understand. Get good. A small traveling bag. Dad always takes it on business trips. It looks an awful lot like a miniature chest. Or a box. A very small box. A tiny one even. You, you could call it... Little Box Luis. Detergent, yada yada yada. Huh? Alright. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes, the works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Buddy! No, you don't. I've seen worse from a few days without sleep, much less ten. You look really fucking good for 10 days without sleep. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Okay, it really looks like there's a face in that. Maybe I'm hallucinating. You gonna take that bread out of the toaster? No? Okay. No reason to go outside. Not even for a, mid a late night jog? Those are good for the soul. Yeah. A prayer before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when mom was here? Now I lay me down to sleep. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake, the Lord I pray my soul to take. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble, how would there? And then she falls asleep. Let's be honest, that was probably just her conking out from the from sheer sleep deprivation. Something's weird. What happened to the clock? By the sounds of it, it's now going to be right twice a day. The wall, the wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? Could be worse. It could have stopped at 13 o'clock. Then you would have been in trouble. This clock stopped at 12 too. What's this about? Although 13 is a lucky number, so... Yeah. Uh, I swear, if we step one foot out of here and we and we see like the world has broken apart into a strange bluish void, and some bozo this, this talks about giving me his mark, I'm going to be very peeved. Has this changed? 
No. I don't think so, anyway. Hi. It's the old guy from next door. What happened here? Well, clearly what happened here is obvious. You were praying to God to get you to sleep. And God noticed and sent down an angel to put you to sleep. But he forgot on the way there, he kind of forgot who he was supposed to put to sleep. So he decided to just throw a big old blanket sleep thing over the entire town but somehow managed to miss you or maybe whatever's preventing you from sleep is so severe that the that it would need a more concentrated dose to put you to sleep and so everyone except you is was put to sleep by it obviously that's what happened Cl classic mix-up you should probably start praying again to tell the angel what j the hell just happened so he doesn't ha get all the way back to heaven and then have God tell him off for fucking it up. He... He's sleeping? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Yeah, good question. Why was he out in the, out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe... Did he trip and hit his head? Oh, oh no. I have to call an ambulance. Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to... What am I supposed to glean from that? Oh, sorry. Obviously, it actually says, what am I supposed to gleam from that? With an M. Now, far be it for me to correct this game's grammar. Obviously, its designs are beyond my understanding. Maybe they just aren't answering calls from you. Why? Because they hate you. You specifically. Oh, oh, I need to go tell his wife. Snowing loudly. Old man, are you okay? I think he's just sleeping, but... Excuse me, I'm the Grundler girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me? Are you in there, miss? It's not locked. It's wide open. Miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? I can't tell if that's just her shadow if there, or if there's blood underneath her. She, she's asleep, too. What's going on? Okay, it must just be a shadow then, or Sophie must almost certainly would have mentioned it. Something's weird. Something's weird here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Resting peacefully. Resting in peace. Old lady, what happened? Nah, well, since they're asleep, and probably we will be for a while, now would be a great time to loot the place. <laughs> Shouldn't go in here. I'm sort of breaking in as it is. Oh, you coward. I w if it were my house, this would be my room, but I shouldn't go in here. Ah, lame. <laughs> You're a... Come on, Sophie. You're an adventure game protagonist. Stealing everything not nailed down is in your blood, mate. Ah, well. Uh, uh, another person asleep on the ground. Why are they all sleeping like this? What the hell is happening? Is... Is there anyone else awake? Good question, Sophie. It seems as if perhaps even this entire town, or maybe even the entire world, has mysteriously fallen asleep. 
Why? 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 And is there anyone else still awake? And either way, why am I? All good questions. All very good questions. Which will probably not be answered next time. Well, maybe one of them will be. I hate to blue ball you right as things are getting interesting. Wait, no I don't. I love to do that. So... <laughs> So yeah, we'll be continuing the adventures of Sophie, the extremely sleep-deprived lady who is somehow more or less fine, despite that sleep deprivation, as far as I can see, relatively speaking anyway, in the next episode of The Sandman. It was a bit of a long intro, but... Let's hope the story is at least as interesting as the previous game. And by interesting, I mean gives me ample opportunities to go on long-winded rants about whatever. I mean, we're off to a great start with that already, but at any rate, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below fuck you all so much for watching and so long suckers <laughs>